Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a heartbreaking and shocking story to discuss, one that has sent ripples through the sports community and beyond. We're talking about the tragic death of Rebecca Cheptegei, an Olympic athlete whose life was cut short by a senseless act of violence. This story is not just about a tragic loss, but also about the urgent need to address gender-based violence, especially within the realm of sports. Let's dive into the details of this devastating event. Rebecca Cheptegei, a 33-year-old Ugandan marathon runner, has tragically passed away after being brutally attacked by her former boyfriend. Known for her remarkable achievements in athletics, including her recent participation in the Paris Olympics, Cheptegei's death has shocked the world and left many questioning how such violence could occur. On a fateful Sunday, Rebecca Cheptegei was returning home from church with her two young daughters when the horrific attack took place. The former boyfriend, whose identity has not been fully disclosed, reportedly doused Cheptegei in petrol and set her on fire. This gruesome act of violence left her with extensive burns, ultimately leading to her death just a few days later. The attack happened in northwest Kenya, where Cheptegei had been living and training. Local authorities have confirmed that Cheptegei's former partner was reportedly involved in a dispute over a piece of land with her. Cheptegei, originally from Uganda, but living near Kenya's elite athletics training centers, had purchased a plot in Trans and Zoya County and built a house there. This dispute may have been a motive for the attack, but the investigation is still ongoing. The police are actively looking into the details of the case to uncover the full extent of what led to this tragic event. Rebecca Cheptegei was not just a remarkable athlete, but also a generous individual known for her support of fellow runners. Fellow Ugandan athlete James Kirwa, who visited Cheptegei in the hospital, described her as a kind and giving person. Kirwa shared how Cheptegei had financially supported other athletes and even brought in training shoes after returning from the Olympics. Her death has been described as a great loss, not only to her family, but also to the sports community at large. Cheptegei's father, Joseph Cheptegei, has expressed profound grief over the loss of his daughter, whom he described as very supportive. He has called on the Kenyan government to ensure that justice is served. He is also concerned about the future of his granddaughter and grandson, who are now left without their mother and face an uncertain future. The tragedy has not only robbed a family of a loved one, but has also left her children in a difficult situation, raising concerns about their education and well-being. This tragic incident underscores the pressing issue of gender-based violence, which remains a significant concern in Kenya. According to a national survey conducted in 2022, at least 34% of women in Kenya reported experiencing physical violence. Cheptegei's death highlights the severity of this issue and the need for urgent action to address and combat gender-based violence. Kenya's sports minister, Kitchumba Merkoman, has spoken out about the tragedy, emphasizing the need to address gender-based violence within the realm of sports and beyond. His remarks highlight the broader societal issue that needs to be tackled to prevent such senseless acts of violence from occurring in the future. The athletics community has also reacted strongly to Cheptegei's death. Uganda's Athletics Federation issued a statement expressing their deep sadness and condemning the act of domestic violence that claimed Cheptegei's life. They have called for justice and express their condolences to her family. The British Olympian Eilish McColgan also expressed her heartbreak, noting that this is not the first time the athletics community has lost an athlete to domestic violence. The former boyfriend, who remains in intensive care at Moy Teaching and Referral Hospital in Eldoret, is reported to have suffered less severe burns compared to Cheptegei. 
While his condition is described as improving and stable, the focus remains on the gravity of the act he committed. The local police chief, Jeremiah Olkojem, has described the attack as a cowardly and senseless act that has resulted in the loss of a great athlete. The investigation continues as authorities seek to bring justice to Cheptege and her family. Rebecca Cheptege's death is part of a troubling pattern involving athletes and domestic violence. Her death follows the killings of fellow East African athletes Agnes Tyrup and Damaris Mutra. Tyrup's husband is facing murder charges while the hunt for Mutra's boyfriend continues. These cases reflect a broader issue within the sports community and society at large, where domestic violence against women remains a serious problem. The tragic deaths of these athletes serve as a stark reminder of the need to address domestic violence and support victims. The sports community must take a stand against such violence and work towards creating a safer environment for athletes and everyone affected by these issues. The death of Rebecca Cheptege is a devastating loss that has shocked and saddened many. Her life, marked by remarkable athletic achievements and generous contributions to the sports community, was tragically cut short by an act of violence. This incident highlights the urgent need to address gender-based violence and support those affected by it. As we remember Cheptege's legacy, let us also reflect on the broader issue of domestic violence and the steps needed to prevent such tragedies from occurring in the future. It is crucial that we continue to raise awareness, advocate for justice, and support those who have been affected by violence. Rebecca Cheptege will be remembered for her contributions to athletics and her kindness towards others. Her death serves as a reminder of the ongoing fight against gender-based violence and the need for continued efforts to create a safer and more supportive society. Thank you for joining me in discussing this important and heartbreaking topic. Please share your thoughts and condolences in the comments below, and let's continue to honor Rebecca Cheptege's memory by advocating for change and supporting those in need. Until next time, stay safe and take care.